Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane, and welcome back to my New England Patriots long-term rebuild. As usual, let's start off by re-signing our players, and we have to bring back McCarron. What do we have for money? $55 million. Back down to four years, which is good. Let's go 19. I mean, he's a 93 overall. I almost have to. I'll go a 19-8 signing bonus. You're not interested in signing. Well, here's the franchise tag for 35.8 million. Whoo, that is a lot of money. I can't believe I had to do that. I almost just want to like stick it to him and just trade him away. See what we can get. I might put him on the trade block. John Ross for the right price. I'll bring you back. I, I don't think so. I'm not going to do that. Clinton Dix can go. Ellis. I know we have Presley, but... No, we're not going to do that. Ryan Izzo, not really concerned about Lacoste, can go. Stokes, we don't really need him. Bonner, don't really need him. Now, what does Stephon Gilmore want? One year, 6.8 for an 84 overall, 33-year-old. I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's go to free agency. See if we can bring in somebody. I I, I just can't believe. I am going to actually, I'm going to put McCarron on the trade block right now just to see if we can get anything. I know he's a 93 overall, but he's being a little bit of a diva. And I don't like divas on my team. He is 27 years old, so if we could get something for him, that'd be awesome. I just, I don't see it happening. What do we have for money? Not like, obviously we'll get something, but nothing that I'm really dying to get. Gurley, 99 overall. Gilmore, for the right price, I will bring him back. Lane Johnson, we do need a tackle. Eh, not going to do that. Doolittle. Maybe? I think we're fine at corner, though. Shaq Mason. I wouldn't mind cutie, but for 93 points, I just, I don't know. We're fine at the ends. How's there? Connor Howe, 98 points. Will Trout with superstar development, 25 years old. Now we're going to need a quarterback. I mean, we, we don't know that for sure yet, I suppose. Uh, let's go. Do I go Davidson and then trade away somebody? I don't think so. I really don't know what to do. We might just keep the money. Cutie's the only one I really want to bring in. And I imagine it's going to cost like 6.5, 2.84, 100 points. That does put us in the lead. So we could definitely get him. Let's advance the week. And then I have to, actually, the trade offers might be the final week now that I think about it. He turned us down. Is it like rumors that our quarterback's on the trade block? Like, I, don't, I don't know who's going to be that quarterback. I'm not doing that. Could be. Cam Newton's there. Trufant. Wallace. Le'Veon Bell. Another Le'Veon Bell. A receiver Le'Veon Bell. Interesting. Singletary's there. So Michelle's getting up there in age, if, we, if we're being fair. Bryce Love, though. I'm going to try to bring in Bryce Love for cheap, cheap money like that. Let's advance the week one more time to see if I get him. Then we're going to see if we have any trade offers yet. Yes, we got Bryce Love. Good. Here it is, the trade offers for Mark McCarron. Third round picks. Are you out of your mind? How is the no first overall pair? First round picks, rather. That's crazy. I'm going to go set up our draft board. We have the 17th overall pick, and the first guy we're going to look at is cornerback Weston, 6'4 combine. First in the three cone in the 20 yard, second in the 40 yard, and the vertical jump. Not really sold on him right now. I think he's an early first round. Yeah, probably not really going to have a chance at him anyway. Right end Roman, seven combine. Now, Ngakwe is up there in age. We did just extend him. I actually like this guy a lot. I'm going to put him to the top. Tight end Stevens. I mean, six, seven combine. He looks like an absolute beast, and we need a tight end. He's going right to the top. Cornerback Buckhalter, six, six combine. His combine grades are great. I don't like that his zone coverage is C+. Plus. Um... I mean, we have Humphrey, J.C. Jackson. I'd rather get Stevens first. Receiver, Miles, 7-2 combine. First in jumping, first in the 20 yards, there are second in the three cone, seventh in the bench press. Not all too fast as a deep threat. Great top three skills. We do need a receiver, so maybe. Receiver, Hookland, 7-5 combine. Second in the vertical jump of the 20 yard, first in the bench press, third in the th uh, three cone. Still not that fast. He is a slot guy, so... Maybe I'll put him right up here. Running back Mabin, 6'8 combine. I mean, we just got Bryce Love. We don't need Mabin. Receiver Ben, 7'2 combine. Six in the 40 yard, which is good. A deep threat. A minus medium route and catch a traffic. B plus release. 
I think I like him the most for receivers. So let's put him right above Hooklin. Still want Stevens, though. Oh, no. Christy, the tight end. 6'6 six, six combine. Great combine reports going right to the tippity top. If we have to take a tight end, that's fine. Offensive line still solid. Cornerback Hearn, 6'2 combine. I don't really like him all too much. Right outside linebacker LaMichael Bryant, 6'6 six, six combine. And I feel like this guy is sneaky good. I know he's first in the broad jump, first in the bench press, but his three cone 20 are not bad. His top three skills pretty good. So let's put him right under the tight ends. The next guy is right tackle Brian Mackey, 6'2 combine. Third in the bench press, sixth in the three cone, eighth in the 20 yard. Great, great, great top three skills. He's going to have to go right under Brian for now. The next guy is right end pool, 6'7 combine. First in the 40-yard vertical jump, three cone, and the 20-yard. Great top three skills. It's just such a shame that we have Green, we have Ngakwe, so we don't really need Poole, but I'm dying to have him. Strong safety Jeffers, 7'4 combine. I mean, he has to go to the top of the list. He's more realistic to be there at pick number 17. And we just lost Clinton Dick, so definitely going to have to consider that. Left guard Kiffy Smith, 6'7 combine. Come on. Really? First in everything? He's definitely going to overrule Jeffers. He has to. There's no other way he can't. Now, receiver Miles? No, no. We're at defensive tackle Hendrick. 7-2 combine. And he looks so good. I know we have Presley, but he's so good that like, I, I have to consider him. We could change our defense if we have to. Uh, no, he's not going right to the top, though. Don't worry about that. The next guy in the second round, middle linebacker Joey Gold. 6-6 six, six combine. Good top three skills. Good combine report. Center, Stephen Jones, 5-4 combine. Second in the broad jump in the three cone. Third in the vertical jump. 11th in the bench press I don't like, but he has great top three skills. I know we have, uh, is it Kevin Paul? Yeah, I know we have Kevin Paul, but we don't really have to do that. I'd still take Stephen Jones if we, have, if we could. Move some people around. Receiver, Bradfield, 7 combine. Good top three skills. Seventh in the 40 yard. Third in the bench press isn't really all too important. Right end Tatum, six combine. Second in the bench press, everything else not too great. Top three skills are bad, but not dying to pick them. Left end Trey Gordon, six eight combine. Second in the 40 yard vertical jump, three cone and 20 yard. First in the broad jump, 24th in the bench press. He has to go right under the center. Tight end Hal Sweet, six four combine. He's good at jumping, but he's not all that tall. Not as tall as I want him to be. Left end Don Lee, six combine. Good top three skills, everything else not so much. And the final guy is Simon McDaniel, left end, 6'4 combine. And he looks awesome. So I'm going to put him into the middle of the second round, just in case we have to reach. Because we have two fourth round picks, the rest we have one pick in every round. But let's go to the draft. So most of the players that we want are off the board, but look at this. The left guard Smith is an absolute stud. Welcome to the team. Normal development, 78 overall. 88 strength, 76 run block, 86 pass block. I'm at a loss for words for that. I thought that was a slam dunk, at least star development. But normal development? with uh, How do they determine that? I don't really get it. Let's get McDaniel. I love him so much. 72 overall, normal development, 22 years old. 78 power moves, 67 finesse, 74 speed, 79 acceleration. Seems pretty good. What round? I think we have two fourth round draft picks. I know I just said it in real time. It was probably like two minutes ago and I completely forgot. I think it's fourth round though. Yeah, it has to be. Uh, I think our draft board is empty, of course. So let's take receiver Harvey. 62 overall. Not that great. 88 speed, 90 acceleration. He's just not a good player. I'm going to take a hard pass on that one. I still can't believe we franchise tag McCarran for $35 million. And nobody offered a first-round draft pick. I just find that insane. Let's go with cornerback McFarlane. 59 overall. That's not good. 89 speed. Everything else, not good. I guess the acceleration wasn't that bad. Was it 92? Then we have the 29th pick. I'm wondering, what do we do with this pick? Do we go with like a Doolittle? Anthony Doolittle? Let's try him out. 62 overall. No development. 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 69 catching and catching traffic. Not that bad, but at the same time, if that was my draft only rebuild, I love that. But in this, that's really just not going to cut it.
We have three more picks to go. I think I want to take our kicker this time around. 2-5 combine. Welcome to the team. 67 overall, normal development. 87 kick power, 77 kick accuracy. Seems like a good pick to me. Now, do we trade these final two picks? I feel like by not picking anybody all these times, they were kind of losing out. So we probably should mix it up a little bit. Go with Mitch Pounds. Third in the three cone in the 40 yard. 63 overall, normal development. 64 tackles, 63 hit power, 78 speed, 82 acceleration. Not terrible. And then with our final pick, I wouldn't mind taking a fullback, to be honest. If there's a fullback here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I hate that we're just kind of borderline at this point. Like, kind of can make the playoffs or close. Let's take Forrest Dill or Belton. 61 overall, normal development. 61 impact blocking, 72 lead block, 58 run block, 78 speed. So Weston was a 77 overall. Roman 75, Steven 76. I want him on my team so, so bad. Buck Halter 75. Christie's a 76. Batten 75. I was interested in him. Miles 73. Ryan 72. Pool 75. Definitely, definitely interested in him. 78 for Smith. That's who we drafted. So do we draft the best guy? We did. Okay, I like that. No star development or anything like that, but got to love taking the best player. No, there's a 78, Stephen Jones, the center. I was also interested in him. So we're going to have to, I'm going to write down all these players. Next episode, we'll check them out just like we did last episode. But that is going to be it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel, subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.